So we're looking out for other airplanes, flying the airplane, counting boats. It's not that difficult. So I'm grateful to the National Park Service for uh, subsidizing my fun <laughs> every year for 45 years, putting me up in an airplane at least three times in the summer. So it's, it's a spiritual deal with me. This uh, map shows the distribution of all the known osprey nests that we kept track of since 1973. Parks are for people to enjoy and to learn from. There's nothing greater than learning about, in my estimation, wildlife in the park and sharing the information so that people can be awed by the beautiful things that go on out here. I've gone through uh, six pilots since I've been here. <laughs> I shouldn't say I've gone through, I've worked with. Gear is up for water landing. There she is, Ariel, our friendly mermaid talking to us, always keeping us safe. I've never worked in a place uh, to this extent where I've been so tied to the resource. It's extraordinary. And it's called the icebox of the nation. Of course, I didn't experience a winter here until I worked here. The first one was a little surprising. The weather that we fly in here it is it's big time. It is it's just it's a world of difference. The saying back in the day was we get paid in sunsets. So you'll have a double payment today. Gear is down for runway landing.